Well, like I said, when I first moved here, it was noted for basketball. But now the talk is completely football, you know. You're, I've seen people out to football games now that I thought I'd never see to a football game, you know. And then I see some of these young people that I've coached, and they have kids now playing football. The Duchesne football team is competing for the 43rd year, and it's a program that recently has developed into the premier program in Class 1A. The Eagles earned the opportunity to break the Utah record for consecutive wins Friday night. Duchesne last lost August 27, 2010 at South Summit, a 39-19 setback. It was a streak of 36 consecutive games entering Friday's game at Carbon, a Class 3A program in Price. Uh, first of all, when I came, uh, you know, my, the freshman team, my first, my first year, the freshman team we had, uh, they were a great group, and 2006 kind of set the tone, I think, for uh, built the tradition that we've had. Our 2006 team, I mean, arguably was one of the better teams we've ever had, and uh, that was the first state championship in school history, and then, uh, you know, that was my fourth year coaching. Duchesne's winning streak began September 3rd, 2010 at Duchesne with a 48-6 victory over West Wendover, Nevada. The streak includes three state championships. The Duchesne defense had shut out nine teams entering Friday's game, and the average margin of victory was 27.97 points. It's a streak that's included wins over out-of-state opponents and Utah foes from classes 1A through 3A. Uh, to beat, I mean, you have to beat 3A teams to do what you guys have done. How does, it, how does a 1A team get together and, and compete against those much bigger schools? Well. I, I think we have an advantage on a lot of ways in bigger schools because we, our kids, you know, some of these bigger schools don't actually get to coach, you know, the varsity coaches they don't get to coach their kids until they're juniors and seniors. And with us, we're, we're coaching these kids as a freshman, sophomore, junior, you know, so we don't have JV coaches and varsity coaches. We have, you know, we're, we're all, we all do it all. So in a lot of ways, I think it's an advantage because we get to know our kids at a younger age. But as far as competing, I mean, you know, you, you, you get a system and you stick to it and you try to, you try to, be, uh, you try to be perfect at what you do. And, you know, it starts with our junior high level. He's out here practicing right now and they're trying to do the same stuff we're doing. And, and you know, hopefully the system will, will kind of overcompensate that, the balance of the size and the, and the numbers other teams have. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of 3A teams that, that you know, Obviously, you have smaller 3A and bigger 3A, and, and you know, we're not out there playing St. George schools. We're trying to keep it, uh, s some of the smaller 3As if we're going to play a 3A team for sure. Tim Few owned the record entering the season. The Thunderbirds won 36 consecutive games during the 2006 to 2009 seasons. You know, I, it's, it's just another game, but it's, it's, it's really not. It's, it's a chance to, to break, a, break a streak from a Tim Few team that, uh, I remember reading about and watching, you know, just on the news and, and dominating team. And I look at, you know, it's it's more impressive for a 4A team, you know, no doubt about it, to do that than a 1A team. I'm, I'm not going to tell you. I'd be lying if I told you different. But Yet the streak is a source of great pride for Duchesne, and the town's football fans made the trip to Price on Friday to see the Eagles try to write their names in the state record book. Well, we get a huge following. You know, it's a small town, but... Uh, you know, we shut down, shut down a lot, especially these close games. We get a lot of people, and uh, it just shows you, it goes to show you, you know, everyone's bought in. The kids are bought in, the community's bought in, and and everyone wants to be part of it. And you know, we got people asking, uh, you know, kids still coming out and ask if they can play, they haven't played. And we, it's 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 a cool thing to do right now in Duchesne, and we're, and, and we're glad because it's it's. Uh, it's been a long time. It took a long time to get to this point, but we're, we're finally here. We got the whole town here, and it's an away game. I mean, it's it's not that long of a drive, but still, I mean, anywhere we go, we got great support no matter what. It's, it's just kind of raised that reputation of a football town. So, I mean, no matter, I mean, I see I see parents of players out here that graduated two years ago. So, it just it just kind of keeps going, that environment, football, football towns. There wasn't much drama involved Friday night. The Eagles jumped on Carbon from the start and enjoyed a 35-0 lead at halftime. There was no scoring in the second half, and the Eagles owned the state record. The Eagles had won their 37th consecutive game. And, you know, we wanted to celebrate, and, you know, especially the kids of the past. I mean, uh, they're the ones that got us to this point. The kids now, they're just doing what they should be doing. And, and uh, you know, it's, 
it's a it's an honor to be a coach of a team, you know, with such pride and, and toughness and, and a hard work ethic and, and a great community. You know, it's something that I, I don't take for granted. And I, I, I love what I do. With the record in hand, only one question remained. Just curious to me, how long can you keep this going? And I don't know, I, I hope to finish it out this season, but you know, I hope the next guys can carry it right along. I mean, it's starting to get a tradition, so. Holy. Hey, good job, boys. Nice win, nice win. <laughs> History. 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 One, two, three. History. Nice job. Hey, we made history, boys. Good job, boys. Good win. Good win. Good win. Good win. Good win. Hey, guys. Hey, take a knee. Good job. 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 Good job.